They are up desks with a TV and a camera mounted on them so they move up and down together. Well, it's been one week since you looked at me. Come to your head on the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me. Say get that together and call back to see me. Three days since I'm living in room. I feel like it's not my fault, but didn't tell you yesterday. You've forgiven me. It'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Holding out, I watch the hood week. Does that make you stop thinking? Looking at Aquaman, I saw my fish to the dish, although I like the shallots, which I like the sushi, cause it's never touched a fried pan. I like wasabi when I bust rhymes, we like the air rhymes, because I'm all about value. Burr camp has got the mad hits, she's trying to match with, she's trying to hold me as a fast food. Gonna make a break and take a big out like a sticky nigga, she got like vanilla, it's the bites and the flavors. Gotta see the show, cause then you'll know the fruit it goes, gonna go, cause it's so dangerous, you'll have to sign a waiver. Can't help it if I think it's funny when you're mad Trying hard not to smile though I feel bad I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral Can't understand what I mean when you say well I have a tendency to wear my mind on my sleeve I have a history of taking off my shirt It's been one week since you looked at me Threw your eyes in the air and said you're crazy Five days since you tackled me Yeah, I still got the records on my knees Three days since the afternoon You realize it's not my fault that I'm over too soon Yesterday Stick in your brain, stop sticking Watch your next files when the lights on With all the maze on I hope the strong man's in this one Like here's the point, I'm getting frantic Placing a tantric Looks like I'm scared to satisfy. satisfied Like Kurosawa having mad films Can't make films But if I do, they have a samurai Can I get inside a better cross Can find the Kawatani Not just on my eyes, I'll always fly off the backside Sweat Sweat Gotta get into a sailor milk Cause I come to just get the food Make a better baby It's a baby thing that rocks Baby, I'm kidding, I'm only to think it's funny When you mind Trying hard not to smile Though I feel bad I'm the kind of guy who laughs At a funeral Can't So that's the studio here. Hope you guys liked it. Again, all the links are going to be in the description below. If you are looking to see how to build things like this, the podcast studio, the switching station, the audio recording system, whatever you guys need, feel free to reach out, check out some of the other videos as well, where we talk about all these things. And that's the end of the tour. Hope you enjoy. All right, so starting with the monitor, this is a 43 inch LG monitor and it has a quad view on it. That is native to the monitor, not being done by Blackmagic here. So we have a multi view from Blackmagic. We have a program feed from Blackmagic. We then have a Mac Studio, which is hiding down here under this shelf. And this is elevated. So if you need to move the table, you're not going to move the monitor. So Mac Studio 1 and 2, two displays. This is an extended display. So uh, they're both 1080p feeds. That way we can run this feed, which is our Mac right screen, as an input into the switcher. So you see here in our super source, we have it as a source. We can move those boxes around however we want, and we can bring things back and use this as a source into the video switcher. So if we pull a Zoom call up, if we're looking at a website, a video that we're watching, we can run that into here. They can see it on the screens over there, and we're good. On the control screen, this screen only goes here. It's not running through the switcher. This is for ATEM control and Pro Presenter. We also have an Ultra Studio HD, because we're doing all HD here, sitting right down here. And that is for lower thirds. We can run videos out of it. Whatever we want, we can run signal to the Ultra Studio and get a nice key and fill running in here. For normal lower thirds, obviously we can use a media player, but if we want to do moving lower thirds and animations and uh, whatever we want to use ProPresenter for, it's a very, very powerful tool. So we have that running in as well. Okay, and then we have the brand new ATEM HD8 ISO. This is the new switcher from Blackmagic. Uh, I don't want to get into a ton of it. I have previous videos on it. Uh, things I really like about it, obviously you have the audio control. That's great new feature. I'm super glad they gave you these aux outs. The ability to set aux outputs, which are our two confidence monitors, but this could be uh, a video screen going behind the talent and they're talking about a TV that's in the shot, things like that. The ability to change the source on your aux outs from up here by the way, we can view our aux outs up here. 
So if I wanted to change aux2 to something else, like a, a camera feed or a full screen, whatever we wanted to do, we could do that right here. It's so much faster than either going into the software, hitting aux, finding whichever one you want, or going up here and we have to go and find our aux feed and now I have to scroll through. Like it just, it makes so much more sense to have it here. And of course we are set on aux, we can use our normal buttons, uh, the 10 buttons up here where we can change with the shift key. So ten, uh, eight input plus a super source plus media players, plenty for a studio that is recording. It's a small space, it's not a big space. Other things, keyboard and mouse, so these are just two monitors. We have speakers that are linked into the control output of here. We are also running Maddie in with the brand new microphone converter from Blackmagic. That's how we're going to get our eight different podcast mic, four for set one, four for set two. Uh, and they all are going to run over Maddie because they can link together, daisy chain, get into the system. And I can just bank through and I can see all of our Maddie inputs here on the audio uh, meters. So that's great. And, and I'm not going to get into functionality and how this thing really works. That's for a separate video. But uh, this is built for a studio switcher. My favorite feature besides the aux outputs is the ability to record. So if I want to record what's happening right here on this program feed and I can switch it so you guys can see that there's actually something happening, I'm going to stop the record. Without having to pull USBs or flash drives or anything like that, I can go send that record to someone. I can go pull up Finder. I can get on the network here, right? And I can go to internal storage. And I have not only the program feed, which this is exactly what we just recorded just like that. I can remote into this computer, grab it. I can automatically sync it to upload to Dropbox or Google Drive, wherever I want to go. And I also have all the video ISOs of all the cameras at that time here. So these are all the different cameras that we're recording. So not just program, but the ISO feeds. This right here is a game changer for me. The fact that I don't need to unplug drives, swap drives out, I can format it, it's internal, but I can also add drives for more storage if I want to swap out records. A lot of people were doing this with, um, SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, or something like that. Uh, they were FTPing in to get this footage, uh, and that works well, but it's kind of clunky and it, it has its pros and cons. This works natively on the Mac. It shows up in Finder. Anyone can just hop on the local network here and pull this down. I don't even need to sit here in the room. I could be out there doing a podcast and switching the show myself. And of course we have the super source transitions, which makes our life easier, right? So we can get all the cool animations going. So that is it for this station here. Uh, obviously we have converters, we're doing splits. We have an Apple TV. If you are not implementing an Apple TV in your studios, you need to. It is super versatile to when you're talking in the studio, not even recording, just hanging out, having a good time, being able to cast your laptop or your phone or just be able to play music from YouTube or wherever you want and have it route through your system is super, super useful. We use this all the time. I use this in all my other studios. So make sure you're putting an Apple TV in your studio as a source. Uh, and you might need to do some workarounds if you're having problems getting like the correct signal to show up because of security measures, etc. cetera. Uh, other things, uh, so this is on a floating shelf. We have just some storage up here. It's a really small room and we have a little bit of storage down below. These are just extra cables, tools, things like that for now. So that's the control room. And we have